replace this is actually just a regular piece of um, uh, tracing paper. If we place a piece of tracing paper above the surface, we don't see any information. So in this image here, we have a, an image of the night sky, but wouldn't it be cool, as I put this piece of tracing paper above the surface, uh, if we can see the stars or even the constellation. So here I'm actually going to enable that, that part of the technology. And we see here, up at the top, we see Orion. I zoom in a little bit. And we see the rest of the constellation down here. Now notice that we're not actually seeing an image on the surface itself. It's actually just appearing on this um, tracing paper as I'm holding it above the surface. And we can zoom out and actually get a full overview of the constellation. Likewise, this is, a, this is a map of our hometown in Cambridge in the UK. And if I want to release, uh, reveal the street name, <laughs> or even go up close to where I live. See, look at the street name. One final example, just to really demonstrate some of the capabilities of satellite. Here we have a cow. Can anyone guess what's going to happen when we place this over the cow? No, we're not going to reveal the, the image of the cow. We're just going to reveal some text about the cow. But this really demonstrates that we can that we can project a completely independent image onto onto this secondary surface up above, which is completely different to the one that's that's below. And it is just a regular piece of tracing paper here that we're, that we're placing on the surface. And we can use any sort of cheap plastic diffuse uh, surface to, to kind of reveal this hidden information. I showed the chain of scrolls And uh, this is actually a favorite of Steve, so I should really show this one as well. This is a scroll. Again, an everyday object that you can just pull out and we can reveal the, uh, the text about the cow. Okay, so um, let's just uh, take a moment to uh, understand a little bit more what's going on there. This is a picture of our second light prototype. Inside the unit we have a projection system, as Sharan mentioned, that's shining light onto the underside of the display surface. And it's really that display surface um, where we're adding the innovation. We use a special liquid crystal material for the display. And in its natural state, this liquid crystal material is sort of frosted or milky or diffuse in appearance. I've got a picture here of some of that material, uh, very similar material set up in our lab in Cambridge. So if I project an image onto the underside of that material, you get to see the image, it's rendered very clearly on the material. But if I apply a voltage to that material, I can turn it and make it transparent. So I can see right through it. And if I project an image from, this, from below when it's transparent, just like a sheet of glass, the image passes straight through. It's invisible to the user. So what we do in second light is we're actually switching the display between these two states all the time. And in fact, if we switch it quickly enough, as you can see, we can make it so that you don't need to see the switching. And that's what we're doing. This, this display is continually switching between those two states. And we synchronize the switching with the projection system and actually project two different images. Whenever the display is diffused, we're projecting the first image, and that's the image that you see when you walk up and start using the unit. Whenever the display is in its transparent state, we're projecting a second image, a different image, and that image passes straight through. You don't see it. Unless, that is, you put a second diffuser above the surface, like a piece of tracing paper or a cheap bit of plastic uh, with a diffuser image. And that's how we reveal that extra information.